Hey, this is Kev from Blender Binge. Happy New Year. Let's make an energy spidery thingy and learn some really cool and controllable modifier effects that will let you do trillions of new effects and probably spawn trillions of new tutorials this year. <laughs> First thing we do for this is throw down a grid and give it the subdivisions of 50 on the X and Y. Make it like 5 meters big. This can all be done in the lower left pop-up screen. Now, add in a UV sphere and give it a small radius of like 0.2. That works. Now, we need to make a group out of all the points on this grid. This is important, so don't skip it. Hit Tab and then hit Control G and choose Assign to New Group. This makes a new group that we're going to use later. Now, add a wireframe modifier to the grid to make it a wireframe. These are going to be the legs of our spider. Seriously, it's totally going to work. Let's add in a new modifier on the grid called Vertex Weight Proximity. This is the Make Everything You Ever Thought of Blender Better Right Now button. Move it to the top of the modifier stack. Choose the group in Vertex Group and in the Wireframe Modifier below Thickness. That tells everything to use the group we said was important before. Now, choose the UV Sphere as the target object in the Vertex Weight Proximity. Then, change Distance to Geometry. Look, it makes the wireframe effect less near the sphere. For those of you who are catching on and didn't know this yet, you can use one object's distance to control the effect of another object. It doesn't work for everything, but it allows for awesomeness where it does work. Now, reverse the lowest and highest settings and see the effect reverse. The wireframe now only appears near the sphere. It's like magic. Now, add a displace modifier. In the vertex group of the displace modifier, change that to our group. Move the sphere around now, it's more fun. The grid is too thick, so let's move the displace modifier up above the wireframe modifier. Now it looks better. Now play with the scale of the grid object until you find something that makes you happy. Move the sphere around and it looks like it's kind of crawling. The trick here is to work it until it doesn't look like a rolling displacement and looks like more of a crawly energy, fast crawly energy, sphery energy thingy. To make him crawl a path, simply drop in a curved circle. Make it 3 meters. Select the UV sphere and add in a follow path constraint from the constraints menu. Choose Bezier circle and it snaps to the path. Then hit animate path and it's animated. Look at the little guy go, like baby Yoda, but not. To make it cooler, hit tab. Then subdivide the circle to get more control points. Move them around and the path becomes better. To make it loop, set the number of frames in your animation to be like 210 and then go to the object data tab for the path. Set the frames in the path animation section to match the frames in your animation, in this case 210, and it loops. There, better. The rest is just adding in a grid floor if you want, giving it a wireframe shader, and then a subdivide modifier. This will increase render times though, so be warned. Then add in some lighting and shading if you want and get something like this. Vertex weight proximity is powerful and has so many uses. It's like the very baby version of attribute transfer in Houdini, but this is about Blender. So now for something even more interesting, go make your own. Thanks.